What's up guys, Dodgers Randy here for today's game recap of the Dodgers 7-3 win over the Rays. Um, coming into this game, 31-17, and Rays were 27-17. and With that, the Dodgers move up to 32-17 and on the season, uh, which is just insane and ridiculous. I forget where I read it the other day, but I think it was on Sunday's game. Last year, they were like... I think it was like seven or eight games under 500 at this point of the season. Um, so this team's just on a tear. But really quickly before we go on today's game, since I know people are always wondering about it, um, we got a little bit more information on the Julio Urias situation. So I'm gonna go through it really quickly. Any questions you guys have can be answered by an article by Jeff Passan. He's a writer for ESPN. I will make sure to link it in the in the description below for those of you who want to see it. If I forget to link it, because I do that a lot, just comment and I'll send the link to you uh, in the comments of the video. So Urias was reinstated today by MLB to be back on the Dodgers active roster uh, from administrative leave. Uh, Kyle Garlick was optioned back to AAA. He is on the Dodgers roster. He is cleared to play. Uh, right now, there's nothing the Dodgers can do about it. They can't make. They can't. Uh, they can't suspend him. They can't send him to AAA legally because of the rules of the CBA that MLB Players Association and MLB agreed on. Um, they have to let him come back for now to play because the investigation's not over. And if they had sent asked, if MLB had asked for another seven days. Urias could have filed grievances. So that's everything that's going on right now. Uh, but the Dodgers don't have a say in it. They don't get to decide whether Urias is on the roster or not. It's totally an MLB thing. However, with him coming back, that does not mean that they have necessarily found that he's innocent, but they haven't found that he's guilty either. Um, so obviously innocent until proven guilty. People have their opinions. That is fine. Um, it's an emotional subject. It makes a lot of sense for people to feel the way they do, but the investigation is still open. MLB's investigation as well as laws, as well as law enforcement's investigation. Um, MLB is claiming that they can't get the video from the mall. The mall's not wanting to give it to them. Don't know why. I don't have any information. I just know that law enforcement is still looking into it and MLB, MLB is still doing their investigation as well. Um, he's not going to play this series, it sounds like. However, Roberts did say he's going to be a big part of the Pittsburgh series this weekend. Um, but other than that, that's really all the news that's out. Again, I will put that article by Jeff Passan in the description because I think he does a really good job of explaining kind of what's going on and where they're at in this entire process. But let's get into today's game. Uh, Kershaw Day on the mound looked really, really good. Um, box score is a little unfair to him. Not that giving up two earned runs is a big deal, but those fell on the bullpen. Um, but he came out of it. I mean, the runners were on second and third, so and there was only one out in the seventh inning, so that is on him. Uh, but he pitched six and a third innings with six hits, two earned runs, one walk, and eight strikeouts. Um, he looked really good out there today. The Rays are a good team coming into this game. They, are, they were one game behind the Yankees in, um, in the division, AL East. So he made he made them not look like a very good team today. And our pitching or our hitting did really well too. But uh, like I said, Kershaw came out solid throughout the entire game. Um, up until the seventh inning, he had never given up more than one hit all game. Uh, in the seventh inning, he started off well, got a ground out, but then gave up a single and double. And that's when Baez came in. And unfortunately, things went downhill. And I don't even mean the score of the game. Um, unfortunately... There were two on, one out. Baez took a 103 mile per hour line drive off of his right, what it looked like knee, um, that looked like what he was kind of playing with. It took him a while to get up. He couldn't walk off the field on his own. He was putting weight on his left leg, barely any on his right, while Roberts and a trainer helped, uh, kind of helped him walk off, I guess you could say. Um, but it just, it didn't look good. He looked to be in so much pain, you could hear it. Uh, the Dodgers reported that he has a right upper leg contusion which might be the case um I mean they say it is so I believe them but a contusion can also I mean it can be a bruise of his knee I, we don't know yet what it is what's going on but let's all just hope that he gets healthy he's okay he's not hurt um he's a huge huge part of this bullpen right now and we really need him out there uh but that RBI he gave up it was one of the ones I was talking about for Kershaw Kershaw got charged with that RBI and then Scott Alexander came in. And at this point, I just don't want to see this guy on the mound anymore. Um, again, he came in with two on, one out. So 
it's tough. They've got to get it done. However, he gave up back-to-back -back hits. He gave up a run credited to Kershaw, a base hit, and then he gave up an RBI double, and that run was credited to Baez. Um, so something I've kind of learned, which some of you may not care about, and that's fine, um, and I'm sure some of you have known this much longer than I have, but a few weeks ago, I decided to stop putting so much weight on relief pitchers' ERAs because of situations like this. Uh, Alexander gave up the two hits to give up those two runs. However, his earned run average will not be affected one bit. It's only going to affect Baez and Kershaw's. Um, you can look at ERA for a closer because a lot of times they come in at the beginning of an inning, most of the time. Um, but with relief pitchers, it's just, it's very, very... Um, it doesn't tell you the whole story because Alexander's ERA is a little bit, I think it's like 3.5 or something. But uh, this stat today I learned from David Young. He's on Twitter. Check him out if you guys are on there. Uh, Alexander has now allowed 46.67%, almost 50% of his inherited runners to score. That is seven of 15 runs, uh, 15 guys that were on base when he came into a game. He's allowed seven of them to come across. The NL average is 29. So he's... A, almost a good 20% higher than the um, the NL average. I don't know what they're going to do with him. I don't want to see him in games anymore. I do not like when he comes in. I used to. Um, I just, I don't feel that way about him anymore. Hopefully, Singrani's back sooner rather than later, and he can take his spot, and Alexander can be optioned to AAA, because um, I just, I don't know what's going on for him. I know last year he wasn't great, but I felt like he was much better than this. Um, however, Floro came in got out of the inning, got the ground out, so that way no more runs came across. Uh, Verdugo, well, I guess, let me say, eighth inning to start. Floro gave up a double to start the inning, which was actually, the guy tried to make it a triple. However, Verdugo, the kid has an arm. You can't deny that one bit, whether or not you like him or not. Um, but his arm reminds me almost identical of Puig's, except for maybe he just might be a little bit more accurate than Puig. He made a throw while running to get the ball. It's not like he had, a, he didn't crow hop. He didn't get a running, like any of that. He ran to pick up the ball, bent over on the warning track in center field and one hop the ball. I think it was a one hop. Oh, they're showing it right now. Let me see. Oh no, that was a different throw. Um, but he, I'm pretty sure he one hopped that thing right to, uh, Right to Seeger to tag him out at third. Otherwise, it would have been a leadoff double. The throw was insane. 230 feet, I think they said it was. Um, but he just, it was right on a line. It could not have been a better throw. Um, he's He's got a cannon. The kid can hit, play good defense, has a good arm. Really enjoy seeing him out there. Um, the Dodgers did bring Jansen in. He is looking so much, wasn't a save situation, but he hasn't pitched in a while, it seems like, because the team's been doing so well. Uh, one, two, three inning for him with a strikeout. His cutter is starting to look like itself again. I believe the last time he pitched, they said he uh, hit he hit uh, 95 on the gun, I want to say, and they had said that when he hits 95, most of the time, uh, he's almost unhittable. So he's getting that velocity back. Obviously, he needs the velocity command and cut of his fastball, but he's looking a lot better up there. Um, so hopefully all the pieces are starting to come together because this team is so dangerous with the guys that they have if everything is working at the same time. Uh, on to the offense, DH today, no Kershaw hitting. Beatty started out there. He did uh, only got the one at bat, nothing happened. Uh, Freeze, good day for him. He had his fifth double of the season. He also walked, uh, so he reached two out of four plate appearances. Muncie, pretty solid day for him. He had a bunt, if you look at his stats, you would think not, because he had a bunt single, uh, two ground outs, a fly out, and a walk, and a stolen base. However, um, his bunt single, he came around to score when the uh, outfielders made a terrible error. The ball went under. He scored from first because the ball went under the outfielder's glove. Uh, Turner made it all the way to third. And then his ground out, his next at bat, moved the runner to third so Turner could have a sack fly. So his at bats were very productive tonight. Got the job done. <laughs> it's his third stolen base of the season. Um, I think it was Eric Steven who tweeted that Muncie is six for six for stolen bases um, since he's joined the Dodgers last season which is just funny because you would never look at him and uh see him doing that but he's he's doing it uh great day for Turner he had the single uh the one that Muncie came home and scored on it was a single no matter what the ball just got under the glove of the outfielder um he had an RBI sack fly his 23rd sack fly of this or sorry his 23rd RBI of the season and he had his sixth the double of the season as well so he had 
two hits and an RBI sack fly. Can't go wrong there. Bellinger, I feel like I'm saying this every day. Great game for him. Two walks, one intentional, and he singled. Um, Kike, better game for him than it has been. Started off not great. Started off with a strikeout, a uh, ugly strikeout. However, his last two at-bats of the game came away with an RBI single. Uh, I think there were two outs at that time, which was really great. There was one point where the Dodgers were one for nine with runners in scoring position. I think they finished four for 15. It may not sound like a lot, but that's really, really good. Um, it's almost, I think, what is that? Almost 300? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Anyways, um, so better day for Kike. RBI single, his 22nd RBI this season, as well as a walk. Uh, Seager, good day for him. He had a single. Uh, his 20th RBI today, he got on a base hit. He stole second base. They counted it as a stolen base. Uh, the throw did not go down because there was a runner at third. So I'm, I don't know. I thought it was uncontested, but they gave it to him in the MLB app. So I have it. Uh, Taylor, rough day for him. Two strikeouts and a ground out. He's really the only one who didn't do any. Yeah, he is. He's the only guy today in the lineup who did not reach uh, or do anything productive. Um, Jock, <laughs> Jock came in, had an RBI infield single. Um, no error, no bobble of the ball. He just hustled that thing out. Uh, was a little, uh, just a barely hit ground ball down the third base side. Funny enough, it was his first RBI from a single this season, uh, and that was his 24th. So none of his RBIs before that came from a single. Second at bat he had of the game, he actually doubled off the lefty. Only his second double of the season uh, brought in his 25th RBI, though, so he's still doing it. Uh, Verdugo, he had a single. Other than that, he grounded out. He went one for five, but he had that huge play in the outfield. And then Barnes, a uh, pretty rough day, three strikeouts, but he did come out with an RBI single to give him his 12th RBI of the season. So pretty great game all day around, except for the fact that Baez got hurt and Scott Alexander's still out there struggling. Um, but I got my Baez and Kershaw shirt on, hopefully good vibes for Baez. Nobody sells this. It was just a custom made shirt I had done. So let's keep our good thoughts with Baez and hope he does well because we really need him. Dodgers are 32 and 17. Rich Hill is on the mound tomorrow night, I believe. I forgot to check. I believe Hill's on the mound tomorrow night. Looking for that two game sweep against the Rays before an off day on Thursday. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Bye guys.